Okay, so we're going to be doing a um, bandage change on a dog that's got a broken leg. Um, at the moment, I'm applying stirrups to the leg so that once we actually put our bandaging material on, it'll keep them from uh, the bandage itself from sagging down or shifting too much on the leg itself. Then my next, what I apply is soft roll. You want to do a good padding for this because it adds a adds protection on the overall leg so that it that support and it helps to prevent the bandage itself from getting too um, too tight. So normally I would go over the elbow, but this puppy seems to be doing really well with it just um, with it just over top of uh, the leg itself here. So we'll just keep going. Get a good padding on it. So it helps just for the comfort. And you shouldn't have to pull it really tight or anything like that, just so that you just want to layer it nice and um, gently on top of the actual bandage here. Once I get a good layer of that on, I like to um, put my cling. This you can be a little tighter with it, not too tight, but a little tighter because you have this protective layer on. Um, this just holds it in place and adds that extra little bit of support to the bandage. So then I'm going to do this. One more little layer. And then this is where I put my stirrups on. I just stop that, take my stirrup off, and I turn it around, and I'll put it like this on the inside of the bandage so that it anchors that the bandage that I just put on so that it protects it. And then I'll just do another little roll over top. A couple layer, another layer. Keeps it from shifting up and down the leg to a certain degree. This is a puppy, and I'm sure it, they're very active, <laughs> but it'll help reduce the amount of slippage. And then I like to take my vet wrap. So we have a little female, so she gets pink, hot pink. <laughs> and I always leave a few toes out so that you can feel in between. And when you know the bandage may have slipped or shifted or be putting undue pressure on, because if the toes aren't nice and warm, then you need to take them in and get the bandage removed and have it reapplied because the toes should always be nice and warm. They shouldn't be swollen and they should always be in the normal size. So, and then just nice and gently lay, lay the vet wrap on. Kind of like to unroll it a little bit first and then lay it on. So that way you don't get it too tight. I like to do is get some sticky roll and put a little bit of sticky roll at the bottom of the bandage this is a river roll. <laughs> and at the top the bottom of the bandage mostly it just adds a little bit of grip and just a little bit of support for the foot and the bandage from falling apart she walks, yeah. And then this one goes on the top, and I'll put it over top of the fur so that it anchors it onto the body.
just to kind of put it on halfway over top and around. And you should always apply a bandage to a dry, uh, dry limb or body part just so that it doesn't, anything moisture in there can cause a lot of dermatitis, infection, skin infections. So this leg was nice and dry. The owners have been doing a good job at keeping it nice and dry. Um, and that says a lot for a puppy. And that's a bandage.